let's get things started right now with a member of the, one member of the Swarm, Native Son. Check him out. Tell me, tell me what do you see when you look at me? What do you see when you look into these brown eyes? When you look at this brown skin, tell me what it is you see. When you gaze upon the nappy head of this nappy dread, no see, you're looking at me. Stop looking at me and look at me. What do you see? See, your mind is confined, so I want you to unconfine your mind and detangle those complicated cobwebs of thoughts underneath your cranium and douse yourself in visine to dissolve these chains your brain is bound by. And you're looking at me like I'm a hypocrite for saying that, and I know why. Yes, I may be locked, but you must understand that I'm free on the inside. There came a time in my life when I died and was born again because I was born in sin, and I still backslide every now and then. But that doesn't mean that just because you go to church four times a week or four times a month, or even once a year that you're better than me No, not the least for at some point We've all fallen victim to the beast In some form of fashion We are all formed and fashioned differently So look at me, really look at me Walk on the sole of my spirit Strip me of my copper tone cover And stitch it back together with the thread you ripped From the roots of my scalp and cloak yourself in it And when I speak, whenever I speak I want you to chew my voice up and swallow it Eat it until it gets lodged into the esophagus of your throat To the point you can't cope and begin to choke and you panic for a medic to perform the Heimlich and you can't yell for help so you begin to sign it but just when that happens I want you to just relax and let it marinate and count to eight then wash it down with two teacups of my tears after it has been brewed in six tea bags of my blood for five whole working slave years in the baking sun of a cotton field and I want you to burn my clothes burn the clothes I was arrested in beaten in beat for searched in thrown against the wall and sometimes on the floor hustled in tussled in evicted in when I got kicked out went hungry and had no money and burned those clothes the only clothes I own to define me the person you see burn them and lotion your tidy, entire body with this black ashes drenching yourself in the black sea of me then I want you to imitate a videotape of my life story as if you can really relate I mean truly relate transform your mental state and imitate it all from watching my father from a prison gate to playing basketball in a dirty alley on a milk crate where shallow hoop dreams would determine 95% of our community's fate now can you relate can you see me can you be me I want you to do all of this in remembrance of me so that every time you catch yourself in the mirror you'll see myself because you've been there not in my shoes but you've owned my bruised and weary feet taking shortcuts on the cul-de-sac of a one-way street you've walked a 22 year distance on a green mile track not with a chip on your shoulder but with a bridge on your back you can finally see what the good life looks like from the distance of a project window and you can finally see why them negroes go so crazy over a little bit of nothing and it seems so very hard for them to stop acting like crabs in the barrel you'll understand why black women just can't stop crying and our elders look as if they play it with some type of disorder because they just can't stop frowning and shaking their heads like this in shame because all they struggle to achieve seems like it just went down the drain yes man what do you see when you look at me you can't see anything you can't see anything because you can't see me you can't see me because i'm invisible i'm invisible i'm invisible to your eyes i'm invisible and visible not visible and you won't be able to see me you will never be able to see me until you see me for yourself She told me she liked my poetry, but she didn't know that's only but a small notion of me. I may look innocent, but I know a little something about fresh fruits, candles, and jodeci. Before we go to sleep, girl, I rub your feet and let you tell me all about how your day went. Because if I had a dollar, every cent would be spent on your thoughts, taking time to analyze all of your most intricate parts, because I want to know exactly what kind of words hide behind that beautiful smile when you speak. Even though when you look at me every time I get weak, however, I still think a good conversation has always been the sexiest thing about a woman. But yeah, I'm type shy. In fact, a bit surprised because I didn't think somebody like I would catch your eye simply because you're so beautiful. And that's something I'm not used to, to tell you the truth, because when you look my way, my heart nearly hits the roof, but I have to keep my cool just for you, because I don't want to play myself. Just so you could put me down like a jaw on the shelf or shit, I don't care anyway. I make you my queen any day. Man, F what Keith Murray say, you're the most beautifulest thing in this world. Just like that, your love is just like crack, cause I'm addicted. The way you stole my heart, you should be convicted with no parole. I lock you up in the cages at the depths of my soul, just so. I can make sure you're safe and loved. And nobody can ever hurt you if I'm lying, I put my face in mud. Baby, I can go on forever. 
about the many ways you are better than the average, and I'm just speaking of your beauty alone. That's untouchable like Elliot Ness and Al Capone, yet you press my buttons like a touch-tone phone, the way you got to be open in the zone. Because when I inhale your scent, I daydream of a forbidden island, and when you talk to me, it's like you're playing a violin, and my friends be like, yo, son, you tripping, man, because the room is silent. See, that's why I wrote this just for you, just to drop you a line or two to let you know I ain't forget about you. And to prove the things you do got me tripping true. But I don't care, cause I ain't scared to keep it real and tell you how I feel about you. When we come back, we'll have more from the swarm right after this. Hello, my name is Estelle Ward, and I'd like to speak to someone about my daughter Ruth's financial aid. Hello, yes, I know Ward's mom. And I was hoping the university might reconsider. She got good grades. Hello. I'm Ruth Ward's mother. And I'd like to speak to someone about my daughter's financial aid. Music allows children to understand the, the sound of, of beauty. I mean, it's, music transcends culture. Just the, the, the beauty of it. Uh, and the beauty of the word through sound, uh, through voice and sound, uh, allows, allows children to see another prospect, a, di a different aspect of the world. 